Lesson 1, Introducing the Ribbon. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the brand new Excel 2007 interface known as the Ribbon. We'll understand the various tabs, where they hit the file menu, and the tabs that come and go in reaction to what you're doing. The Ribbon looks different at different screen resolutions. I'll show you how to minimize the Ribbon completely and how to get back to the old Excel 2003 style dialog boxes. Well, Microsoft completely redesigned the interface for Office 2007. Gone is the old menu of File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Tools, Data, Window, and Help, and we now have new ribbon tabs of Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review, and View. The concept is that on each tab we have related items. And in many cases we have large icons for the more important things, sometimes drop-downs that lead to other menus, and then tiny icons that are grouped into groups Lesson 21, Joining Text. In this lesson, we'll learn how to take text from one cell and join it to text in another cell. Take a look at the word concatenation and the ampersand operator. Also, how to add spaces between the text. All right, so this is a real story. We had someone from my last day job in the marketing department had gone to a trade show. And she came back with 5,000 rows of data, first name in column A, last name in column B, and she needed to join that data together into a single cell. So her approach was to come over and to start to type. As you can imagine, this was going to take a long time. She'd been going for about an hour when someone came up behind her and Lesson 69, AutoSum Tricks. In this lesson, we'll take a look at how you can see the total of cells very quickly by looking in the status bar. How to do an AutoSum in one cell, and then faster ways to do an AutoSum in many cells, and even how to do an auto average. Okay, so let's say we need to add these numbers up. The fast way to do it is simply to select the cells, and that's 38,213. How can I tell? I look down here in the status bar. The status bar will show me the sum of the numeric cells when I've selected one or more cells. I can even right-click and choose to show the sum average count, numerical count, min, or max. New in Excel 2007, it can show more than one statistic down there. So here I've selected the cells, and I get the sum, the count, and the average. Okay, but let's say we need to enter a formula that will show us the sum. Well, we can either come to the Formulas tab and use the Auto Sum button, or on the Home tab, use the Auto Sum button. Press the icon, and it proposes a formula. Press Enter, and you're good to go. But there's a faster way to enter the Auto 